Good morning. Grandma Diane here. It's time for Grandma Diane story time. Today we're going to be reading The Case of the Missing Chalk Drawings, and it's by Richard Byrne. Now, if you remember, let's see if it talks about it back here. Um, this He is also the one that wrote about the the uh, crayons, if you remember correctly. So this one is uh, The Missing Chalk Drawings by Richard Byrne. All right, let's get started. Here's our end pages, pretty red. A place for you to sign your name when you buy the book. That's pretty cool. And here's the chalk box. Yep. That guy jumped out. They all look pretty happy, don't they, right now? The Case of the Missing Chalk Drawings by Richard Byrne. And this is published by Henry Holt and Company out of New York. Okay, so here we go. Look at there's chalk dust up here even. <laughs> How fun is that? The chalks were having a fun drawing when Mrs. Red called them in. Hmm. Lunch, she called. Look at that fun drawing they're making, all kinds of beautiful flowers. But when the chucks came back from lunch, they were surprised to find all the flowers are gone. Hmm. Looks like somebody erased them, doesn't it? You can see kind of a swish across there. Hmm. That's what happens with chalk sometimes. The chalk started a new drawing, but this time Mrs. Red also made a big red rose. That should keep the flaw, uh, uh, not a rose. Oh, Grandma Diane. The chalk started a new drawing, but this time Mrs. Red also made a big red fence. That should keep the flowers safe while we go in for a story, she said. It looks like it should, doesn't it? It's got a nice red fence, and it even has a gate in it, but the gate is locked. Hmm, should protect it, but it didn't. After story time, the flowers were gone, and so was the fence. Someone is stealing our drawings, they all said. Now they're beginning to look a little upset, aren't they? You can see the big, like a swish, and here's the chalk dust over here. My goodness. Sergeant Blue arrived to investigate. Here comes Sergeant Blue. And quickly noted some important evidence. The culprit is this tall. And very dusty. Look at all the dust. Oh my. Okay. So he's this tall and very dusty. Sergeant Blue rounded up some suspicious looking characters. All right, we know he's got to be this tall. So this guy is too thin, too small, too pointy, too tall. Too hairy. Hmm, please turn around. He's asking this guy to turn around because he's the right size, isn't he? Oh, look at the looks on their faces. He's got a dusty red bottom. Mm hmm. Uh oh. Is he the culprit? Case closed, but before Sergeant Blue could put the culprit in prison, the robber fled in a cloud of dust. Oh, my goodness. I guess he did. There he goes. The chocks chased the robber, but they could not catch him. So the dust trail is the robber, and then all these others are the other chalks chasing him. But they could not catch him. 
Hmm. The chalks were stumped. They just can't think of anything else to do. Fortunately, Sergeant Blue had a plan. Okay. When the robber came upon a new drawing, he couldn't resist. Rainbow, here I come. Look at this beautiful drawing that they made. But look at, there's eyes and a mustache. Eyes and eyes, more eyes. I wonder. Uh-oh. The chalk suddenly leaped out from their hiding places. Robber caught you. Oh, and he is erasing it. Isn't he trying to get all the dust? Hmm. The chalkboard eraser felt wrongly accused. I'm not a robber. I'm an eraser. You draw stuff and I erase it. Then you can draw more stuff. The chalks felt guilty that they had made this terrible mistake. Sergeant Blue knew how to make things right. They should all chase the eraser again. What? But this time, just for fun. <laughs> okay, so they're all chasing the eraser to the finish line, just for fun. <laughs> and the eraser won, and he got a first place trophy. Well, that's an interesting story, isn't it? Okay, by Richard Byrne. Someone has been stealing the chalk drawings. Will Sergeant Blue solve the case? Yep, he did, didn't he? Very good. Well, that's our story for today. It's going to be another hot day outside. So, again, drink lots of water. Um, keep cool. Stay in a cool spot but get a little bit of exercise. Find some good books to read and have some fun out there. But remember to keep cool and drink lots of water. One other thing I wanted to tell you before I leave today is um, in case you've missed some of the stories uh, that Grandma Diane has read, remember we started this in March, way back when the um, pandemic started. And all of those stories are archived on my website at diandavies.com, and they are also on the YouTube site under Diane Davies. So if you miss them or you want to watch some of them over again or uh, you're looking for a good story, uh, you might check out both the YouTube site and uh, diandavies.com to find the archived stories and, and read them again. It's kind of like having your own little library in your pocket. Uh, when you want to find a good book to read, you can check those things out and look for, again, Diane Davies on YouTube or dianedavies.com. Thanks for listening again today and watching. We'll be back tomorrow at 11 with another good story. See you then. Bye from Grandma Diane.